What's up, my little town tones? What up, Celtic Squad? Yo, come in, sit down, shut the door. Y'all, we got some new tea. Listen, I just want to put it out here. This is, of course, unverified, but just like all the stuff that comes from the Daily Mail and those are palace sources, we got to get into this. Y'all, oh, first of all, where do I start? <gasps> okay, I'll just say it. What else for Valentine's Day with uh, Ralph Tannenberg and gifted her a pearl necklace? <laughs> If these stories are to be believed, this 100% makes Kate's, um, what do you say, Kate's um, aura, the way she was acting at the BAFTA, it makes it all come together. Remember that playful poop, right? On the booty she gave Will? Yeah, that was a warning shot if I ever saw one. She has had it up to here. But y'all, let's get into this mess. But first, can I talk about something that I think needs to be said? And listen... I just, I, 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 this needs to be said and I cannot walk this earth without sharing this with you guys. Kate looked like a GD fool at the BAFTAs. Those Zara earrings, and you know I love a good Zara earrings. Those opera gloves, that dress, this reminds, see, here's the thing, here's the thing. <laughs> you know how they always say you enter your flop era when you start to believe your own hype. Kate started to believe her own hype. She had her mega move board. She was getting what she called home runs, even though on a scale of one to 10, she looked like a six or seven, which for her is looking like a 20, right? Wearing creams, neutrals that made her look sour on the skin. She was walking out in her mega wide leg cosplay, giving like, you know, I'm the empress with the realest stuff. And she really started thinking What's Megan doing? Girl ain't talking about nothing. Let me show you how these Middletons do. To which we all came out and said, girl, boo, stop. what are you doing? I literally, when I saw this cringe and the way she was strutting out on that carpet, this is always Kate's problem. And she should embrace it. You are not a fashion girl. You're not. You never will be. You have no taste. You have no style. You're too much in your, in your head. You can't even take yourself. Seriously, you have no personality. You are a fashion shell. But the thing is, you have such little fashion instincts that you don't even know who to grab onto to get it done. You literally are a younger version of Camilla Parker Bowles. Remember when Camilla walked outside in her revenge dress trying to one-up Diana? If I can, I'll put the pictures up. There was Camilla's red, uh, Diana's uh, revenge dress when she walked out looking like money, faith, body, everything, ba, 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 on point, right? And then Camilla tried to replay it and it was just like, this one feels like paradise. You know how that little TikTok meme where they're like, this one feels like paradise. Don't know. And then, um, um, no, no, no. The one where it's like, oh, still don't know my name. And then, they cuts to the bootleg version and they're like, still you near my name. That's what Camilla looked like. That is what Kate looked like. Y'all, first of all, before we get into these rumors, I know you want to get into them, but I got to take a moment to drag. Please join me, join hands as we uh, bury any hope that Kate will ever get a clue. First of all, where do we start at? Okay. First of all, this is a recycled dress and there's nothing wrong with recycled dresses, right? But the way she decided to add some pizzazz was by throwing toilet paper over her shoulder. It reminded me of when I was a kid and I was obsessed with like the floor mat gymnastics when they would have the ribbon and I would try tie toilet paper to like a stick and jump around the living room doing all this stuff. It reminds me of that, right? <laughs> While my parents watch TV like, Tisa, please. Uh, as you can tell, even from a kid, I was out there doing it, being dramatic. Let's focus on these Zara earrings. Here's the thing. The earrings are cute. I would wear them. You know, guys, you know I love a good statement Zara earring. Now, honestly, I take that back. They're cute. I don't know if I buy them, but if a friend loaned them to me, I would 100% wear them. Jeans, tank top. I mean, I could, I could make it work, right? But you put these statement earrings on with a casual outfit, not with this mess, or maybe even an evening outfit, but not one that's oh so fussy. It doesn't even match Kate's face shape. The tan and the creams look like crap on her, uh, along with the white. Just, ah, uh, and she had her wiglet and her hair is thinning. It's not wrong with thinning hair, but God, Lee, can somebody please 
show Kate what tapins are. Yes, in America, we figured out, put some damn tapins in your hair, Kate. And then the worst atrocity, these black opera gloves. Here's the problem with Kate, and you can tell she is just not, a forget about being fashion girl, she has no style instincts. And you are literally around people that don't understand style. So when they read, ooh, gloves are a trend, they go out and get you opera gloves coming up to your armpit, cutting off your circulation. Just look at, and watch your hair down like that. Do something with it, right? But what happened? You guys didn't get the memo. The gloves are the gloves are 100% in. I think it's a cute look. Megan did it at the Queen's funeral. That's where they got the cosplay. But they're so dumb, they probably thought Megan was wearing her gloves wrong. Ugh, stupid. Gosh, uh, um, uh, tacky American. Her gloves are saggy and much too big. This is how a lady wears gloves. No dummies. The slouchy, slightly oversized, but definitely slouchy gloves that don't, that come like right, um, to elbow level, but they're so slouchy, they come to like mid forearm, that's what's in. And when you wear that dress, the dress is supposed to be geometric and structured and the deconstruction, the yin and yang, that fashion, wow, that makes everybody go crazy is you have a very geometric, very structured dress, whatever shape, silhouette it is, very sparse, right? And then you have the slouchy gloves that, ooh, give it that je ne sais quoi, opposing slouchy not slouchy but they couldn't even do that they, these people amateur hour but you know what thank you because when i saw this i literally laughed out loud you and I, is kate ever gonna recover from this because she keeps reminding us and you know why she had to remind us because megan's been missing not missing we know where she is chilling living her life but megan hasn't made any public appearances for a little bit over a hundred days, I don't know if that's long, but a little for a long time, Kate has cosplayed every look Megan has. And now that Megan's not giving her any more um, inspiration, she's doing her greatest hits, but it just shows you don't got any style and the people around you don't have any style. You look a mess, which is to say, you know something's wrong when William stole the show. He's better than you. Anyway. So one of the things that happened was during that thing, Kate tried to grab William's hand. If I can't, I'll put the video. If not, look, wait for another video. I'm trying to get this out, right? Kate grabbed William's hand and William like did everything he could. He was like walking like this to avoid like touching her hand. But the funny thing is, and this is the funny thing, after that, she playfully gave him three paps for a butt on the butt. Everybody was like, ha ha, she's being so romantic. How did we go from your Megan wasn't allowed to show her shoulder and it was disgusting for her and Harry to hold hands at a funeral to at a public event where everyone's watching and you are the Princess of Wales patting your husband on the butt in public? I guess, girl. But I kept thinking that didn't seem like something playful. That felt like a playback to William because if you don't know, there was a South Park episode when they made a whole big deal that South Park went in on Meghan and Harry, right? Fine, it's South Park, who cares? They go in on everybody. Like South Park does not, they go in on every pop culture person. But I thought that's all, who cares, right? But then they forgot that there's an episode of when the Prince, of when Kate and William get married, and somehow his arm gets ripped off. He No, he rips off Kate's arm and uses that to um, pogo stick himself, if I will. It's very crude, very graphic, but it also let me know that those rumors about William being into self-love, if you know what I mean, is actually true, right? I thought that she was bringing him to heal. So, but I thought, why wouldn't William at least fake hold Kate's hand? What is going on with them? Well, and let's get into this. Are y'all ready? Sound up and let me know what you think, right? Let me know what you think in the comments. So get this, right? Where is it? Hmm, hold on, I have it. Oh wait, no, I have it right here. Y'all know I just be scouring the internet. I know you guys are like out busy saving the world. I keep up with all this gossip so y'all don't have to. Mm. Oh, they're saying that Prince William, directly from Marka, and Marka is usually spot on with their uh, reporting. They said Prince William allegedly spent Valentine's Day, woo, with the mistress who was also Kate's friend. I said, what? William might have spent Valentine's Day. 
Valentine's Day with a rose, a rose bush. Now listen, they're saying this is very big claims being made about the personal life. Just hear it out and then let me know if you believe it or not. But that would explain why William wouldn't even hold Kate's hand. And then Kate, in my mind, I didn't think she was being playful. I think she punished, punished him on the red carpet to humiliate him, right? To put him in this place about what happened on Valentine's Day. And they're also saying he bought her a pearl necklace. But get this, right? William can't divorce Kate right now. They can't. This would be shame to the monarchy. And he wouldn't want um, uh, Harry to think he won. The only thing with Kate is, Kate, don't get above yourself because William has proven when it comes to his temper, he really will spite his, uh, cut off his nose to spite his face. You better tread lightly, but girl, we appreciate it, right? Woo! She gave us so much. She gave us comedy with the earrings, um, horror with the black gloves, disgust, right? A moral outrage with that white dress with the toilet paper repurposed. And then she gave us scandal and drama with the poop, 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 right? Now get this, it's been claimed that Prince William spent Valentine's Day this year with his mistress, who was also a friend of Kate. Various outlets within the British media have claimed that another issue has driven a wedge between William and Kate's marriage. The report that he spent Valentine's Day with Rose Hanbury, who was a friend of Kate's, they were seen enjoying a romantic dinner together. It was reported by the Daily Mail a few weeks prior that Kate was overheard saying she does not expect William to give her flowers on Valentine's Day as it's not traditional for them anymore. The King of England, you don't even have to wipe your own patootie if you want. And you can't order your secretary to be like, yeah, send her flowers for Valentine's Day. Anyway, right? The story stems from the mid-2019 when images surfaced of William enjoying an evening out with Rose, who until that point was Kate's best friend. The picture showed them very close together and even kissing, sparking suggestions that they were having a full affair. As you know, let's get to the whole thing. Oh, if you guys don't know, I'm going to the next article. There's some other stuff in here. Um, Rose divorced her husband, David Rock Savage, around the times that the rumor surfaced or came up that she was messing around with William. Also, Rose Hanabury's daughter looks very, very, very much like Charlotte. Now, I do think that Rose and Kate look close enough that with William Jean's he would make another Charlotte. You know what, let me just shut up. Let me, let me, let me get back. Let me stay on. They said that Prince William's incredible gift to his alleged mistress. Again, this is all my opinion. We don't know if it's verified. I'm just reading what we see. Um, they're saying these days, rumors of William's infidelity with Kate Middleton keeps growing, right? They're saying that, um, they're saying that they, do, okay, they don't know if it's from 2020 or if it's from now, but they are saying that William 100%, yeah, I'm, wait, no, this is current. Sorry, y'all. I was so busy in the mess. I was toggling before articles. They're saying the British royal family has not stopped being in the recent new months with the death of Queen Elizabeth, the succession of Charles, and a book published by Harry. That's right, it's fair. Y'all want me to start the book club up? Because there was a lot of juice in there, right? In recent days, there are numerous rumors pointing to the crisis in the relationship between William and Kate. The English media report that the heir to the throne is said to have spent Valentine's Day with his alleged mistress, Rose Hanabry. This woman is a familiar face. She's close to Kate Middleton and the British tabloids claim that they've been seeing each other on the sly. The first time they were phot ph photographed together was in 2019. William and Rose were together at a party. That is why at the time it was claimed the prince was unfaithful to his wife during her third pregnancy. Okay, this created an uproar. And if you guys don't know, I'll speak through it. In the palace and Kate asked her husband to remove her from an inner circle. The UK press reports that the heir to the throne not only refused to remove her, but it is now 2023 and he spent Valentine's Day with Rose. They were having a romantic dinner together and spotted at a fancy Italian restaurant in the London capital. Capital, According to the waiter at the restaurant, William had given Rose a pearl necklace for Valentine's Day. Mind you, he wouldn't even give Kate flowers. He gave Rose a pearl necklace. You know what? It's like my dad always say, if a man's not doing for you, be aware because he is D sure doing for someone. You guys, he, the wedding, uh, listen, we all know she got married to David Rock Savage uh, two days after she announced she was expecting twins. The wedding was very rush. Um, she's the Marquise of Chumley. 
Um, she married David, who was 23 years his senior, who also happens to live in Paris with his long-term roommate that many people say might be his boyfriend. After 10 years of marriage and three children, Dave and Rose divorced in 2019, just after rumors of the affair of Prince William began. Now listen, do you? I do believe, here's the thing. I do believe 100% that William would have the BA, what? To eat dinner at a fancy Italian restaurant with Rose on Valentine's Day. I do believe, and I believe for a while, that him and Kate are living separate lives. I do think that the Harry thing bonded them together, even though the rumors were Harry literally went to war for Kate because William was treating her so bad. But if I'm listen, I'm gonna dig more and see if I can get pictures or actually get that exclusive. But y'all, I don't know where there's smoke, there's fire. Looks like William. The spring's coming and he is back on his knees gardening rose bushes, peonies. Let's just hope he doesn't want to start a garden again in South Africa. If you know, you know. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments and I will talk to you later. Bye.